fool me once. Actually, that was my fault, but still. I should have left it how it was. start with that so I'm working on the second half of my omelet delicious and then mommy asked for soup so I made some soup it's also delicious and then I had the impromptu idea to make lemonade I guess I should show that too. yeah and like these lemons I'm not cutting anymore I'm not juicing anymore for like to freeze so before they go bad, may as well use them for something. Delicioso. Okay. did not show y'all what the kitchen looked like before and it wasn't as bad as it looked the day before anyway though new dishes well I put them in the dishwasher let me not be all extra but clear counters and then I'm gonna put that in the fridge uh, I just love it and I did eat the omelet but I decided to fix myself some soup um, I think I'll wait on making myself tea because I almost made it out of habit and it was like well do I really need to you know but it is 121 I came down here at 10 40 to start cooking but I've been done cooking I just decided to do like lemonade and cleaning and everything I cleaned the microwave I'll clean the dishwasher. So I was being extra. But once you get in that mode, you know, sometimes it's hard to stop. Anyway, today I have a dentist appointment at three. And I'm really trying to get my mind together because I'm gonna need to start packing. 
true say, true say, babe. Um, anyway, I'm trying to get my mind around the end of this week because Wednesday, oh my goodness, all the Wednesday is prep. So I'm gonna wash my hair, I'm gonna pack my suitcase, I'm gonna do the accessories that I was talking about. So that means that Tuesday and today is really all I have to make honey. And my phone bill's coming back around. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna figure something out, but yep, that was Monday morning. Work afternoon. All right, y'all. So it's like 5:30, and I'm about to go hang out with Charity. Yay! Did what I was supposed to do. Oh, I feel like I need to pop my ankle. Anyway. I went to the dentist appointment, dropped off a prescription, then came back. This week is loading. I'm not anxious, I'm not nervous, but I know I have a lot to do. So I'm trying to stay calm. Really. All right, so it's nighttime, probably like 10 p.m. Um, I'm back at mommy's house. I was at Charity's. It's cool hanging out with the fam. And look what I have. Right. Yeah, it says Sky Miles. Anyway, yeah, that was my Nintendo DS. Now there's a little piece of it that's snapped I don't remember that happening so I don't think I'm the one that did it but anyway um it's a little loose opening up I'm gonna see if I can fix it but if I can fix it I'm gonna be playing Mario Bros you understand me but I need to shower and go to sleep like today I didn't do my morning face wash and I feel four bumps that activated today so I need to get clean oh and I went by the storage unit got me some more jackets long sleeve shirts and long sleeve bottoms leggings but you're caught up Good morning. I am currently on hold with Adobe because turns out I've been paying for Premiere Pro, which is basically their version of Final Cut, which I don't use. I use Photoshop and Premiere Rush on my phone. Well, she went quiet. <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm about to vamp up my tea. I was gonna make me an omelet, but I see that mama has the Indian food out. Uh, yes, mom. Mom, actually can't take it as No, thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Mom. Yeah, so revamping my tea. Mm, headache. Headache. Um, 
day that put me in a mood. Why does my camera look like that? That's better. But yeah, so the situation is, and like, to be honest, I understand it. But then when you speak to the company in terms of longevity, it's like, okay, so I was looking for applications that would work on my iPad so I could edit and everything. That's the kettle getting wild. So I got Adobe Pro and Adobe Rush, but Adobe Rush wasn't letting me do like big things. I had to keep it to like five, 10 minutes if I wanted it to work properly. So I was like, excuse me. So I was like, hmm, what about Adobe Premiere? But that doesn't work on an iPad. And I did download it to my desktop. I just looked at it and I never used it. And I paid annually for Photoshop and Adobe Rush. And I don't know how I missed that Premiere Pro was $21 a month, but it's been getting $21 a month. And at this point, that's like $150, right? So instead of refunding me the money that I mistakenly paid or without paying attention paid, they're gonna keep that and then lose my annual payments for the next 30, 50 years, which would have far surpassed. But you know, that's their prerogative. Not mad at you. You got one over and I'm out. Fool me once, actually that was my fault, but still. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna make me an omelet. Today is the day before prep day, and because I need to figure something out, <laughs> really and truly, I just do. This is 100% a time period for me where I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's coming. I don't know what's gonna happen. I know what I wanna do. I know how I would like to do it. But I can't bridge the gap between here and here. So it was really, <laughs> this is the time of submission. I yield, take the wheel, okay? Like, I think I'm doing well to not let my stress weigh on me, but I'm still, I feel it, I feel it. And it's like, I'm using my mental to keep it up, but the fact that it's there alone, I'm getting tired. Like all in metaphor but if I could if I could do it and if I could easily come back from it I'd like let the weight crush me and be in a fetal position and be balled up sleep for weeks until someone handed me an opportunity or a key but I'm trying not to do that because I don't think that is healthy. Hello? Hey, Nana. Hey. Um, how y'all doing this morning? Doing good, how are you? I'm doing good. I was calling to see um, if y'all plan on going up to TJ's Wednesday night or Thursday morning. The flight's Thursday. No, mine is Friday. 
Okay, so it's 1.12. I'm on the way. Not my battery's dying. Anyway, yeah, um, I just filled up my tank and I'm on the way to the clinic. And I found a scarf. I found a scarf that actually works. Like, it didn't take me long to get this position. I still don't like how loose it looks in certain areas, but I like this outcome thus far. Mm -hmm. And I figured the baby hair swoops and curls, that's not really my style. However, I can just put a little curve in my edges. So like, like that. So, I'm liking my presentation today. I hope that my attire is okay. I'm wearing jeans and it's not Friday. And I'm wearing a Nike half zip up under this because my scrubs and my t-shirt were dirty. Thing is, I'm volunteering, so prayerfully it won't be an issue. But we're gonna see. All right guys, so I'm back home. I picked up my prescription. I sent back an Amazon package with the, the screws that were too big. And I was supposed to get two deliveries today. I only got one with the stuff that I could have waited on. But um, the things that I need need are in the package that I hope comes tomorrow. But it's saying it could be delivered between the 16th and the 19th. And if it comes later I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be pissed because it's stuff for me to do my hair and I'm gonna do it in a style that like once I do it I can't really add so that's why I want it now now these did come which are also for my hair and I think they're good size Glad I did extensive research. Some gold bobby pins to complement the look. I have the gleaming mask on the way too, which I don't know if that's gonna come in time, but I wanted it. I wanted to do it tomorrow. Like I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna do a mask. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just be prepped, like refreshed. And for me, that does not include shaving because my legs are not gonna be out, but I'm shower, I'll be clean. So um, I don't have any, you know, I believe the toner acts as an exfoliator, but as an actual physical exfoliator, I don't have any of those. So I ordered one to help the mask, like the nutrients from the mask penetrate. That's the one I got. The reviews were good and lastly scarves this like sagey mint then a tan and then like a rose gold and then black and I think these will fit well like I showed the other week where like most of my outfit was just plain Jane and then like the head and up was accessories, earrings, necklace, lock jewelry, scarves. Um, a lot of my outfits are pretty simple or it'll be like mostly simple with an extravagant piece. So if I have like a pop and top on, I probably wouldn't wear a scarf. Or if I did, it would need to be a solid scarf. Or if I'm wearing popping pants, I'll probably wear a normal shirt with something that complements the pants in my hair. But anyway, I just think these will really complement my style. I'm just hoping that they stay on because these are the bigger ones.
I like them. They're super thin. Like, I can see y'all. Hold on. <laughs> can y'all see that? Is it too close? I don't know. I I waved my foot behind the cloth. So if y'all saw it, you see how thin it is. If not, the camera's lying to you because it's definitely see-through. Hopefully that stuff will come in time though. I went by storage, got me some boots and some other running shoes and my steamer for my face. So I plan on doing, now we're not gonna steam while we blow dry. I think I would do my hair, then do my face. Seems like a peaceful order. I'm just hoping that that other stuff comes tomorrow. Cause if not, like I'm genuinely going to be pissed because I ordered it last week. And what's up with the wavering prime benefits? Like, I, I don't get that. Cause at this point it's been seven days I hope that Gleeman mask comes in time too it'd be really cool to try it and then I get to stock up on my facial products because I'm gonna be with the creator Oh yeah. This is good. Great purchase decision. They had a um, three pack for the same price that had everything but the black one. And I was like, you know, these colors are pretty, but what if I wanna wear one to work? And I'm hoping that the bandana, the bandana style won't be a problem but these are the stars that came in today. There's one more hidden up in there. Yeah. Cool beans. And I don't know if I showed you all this or not, but people, well, I'm sure you've seen, do I have a tear this? Oh, it's taped. Words. Handy dandy. If you get packages a lot, that's what you need. If you do crafts a lot where you like need to cut things and shape things, this is what you need. This is how I cut out my lips. Scissors don't do that. Alright, but what I was saying was I'm not sure if I showed y'all. But you've probably seen people with like string wrapped around their locks as an accessory. If I can get the thing out. Oh, are they all separate? Oh, dude. Okay. Well, first they sent me needles. Which we have needles, but it's good that they sent. Oh, they sent sewing needles too. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got neutral colors, like somewhere down the line I might start putting like colorful locks, not colorful locks, colorful string in my hair like to match outfits. But in this statement is a little contradicting, but don't think about it too hard. I'm trying to save money right now. So I wasn't gonna buy these and the colorful ones. And these were only like, seven dollars I want to say six ninety nine including the sewing kits and everything Jesus and they get it together but it's these so these are all spools of thread this is like 
light tan, this is like beige, tan, light brown, brown, dark brown, black. And I was kind of thinking of like, what's a good combo? Like these two. And I know the wrapping's probably like distorting the color, but those two wrapped around a lock that has lock sprinkles in it, I think they'd be really cute. So what I'm gonna do, but the black thread I'm gonna use to like sew in the lock uh, sprinkles. So I'll put these colors on the edge. And we'll put this one in the center. I think that's how they came. Yeah. But is that everything? I'm pretty sure it is. That really upset me though. I won. Well, I can't even say that because apparently, regardless of when I would have ordered it, it would have been late. So. I just don't like when my plans cut so close because if I finish my hair tomorrow and that stuff isn't here, I'm really going to blow a stack mentally. I'm going to be infuriated. But I'm trying to work on that because this is going to happen a lot in life. And we are only 24, which means we haven't even experienced half of it. So. So calm me down. I really might um, just make me some tea. And Alana and I have been supposed to watch, well, she's watched it. She wants me to watch the Umbrella Academy with her or at least the first episode and see how I like it so we may just do that and maybe that'll calm me down because when I say I have prep days I mean I have prep days like I went and I got the facial steamer today so that when I wake up tomorrow I won't have to leave the house that's the goal um I showed y'all the bobby pins, but I didn't show y'all the bobby pins, so I'm going to show you the bobby pins. I like that they tape everything. But honestly, while I will be upset about the hair, the thing that I'm most mad about is the screws. Because I ordered screws to fix this camera. And if I have to take this camera like this to Albuquerque, I'm But I also hate when companies get to this point because if you got a complaint, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? When the stuff gets delivered, it gets delivered. They're not going to offer me your money back for it being late. Your bad review on the delivery isn't going to impact the overall company because at this point, they're basically invincible as far as online shopping goes is what it is should have opened jesus oh it's tape on the sides this is a bit excessive It's just a little accent for when it goes in your hair. A day may come where I need black bobby pins, but until we get there, we're gonna keep it rolling. <sighs> Good to know. I just spilled a lot of beads. This is a mess. 
all right guys well i'm gonna correct this because i am ocd and we can chat it up later it'll probably be tomorrow just keep it an honest mm. i got what you need yeah yeah he said what you'd know about love I got what you need Walk up in the store and get what you want You get what Damn, you please He asked, what's your name, what's your sign Baby, can I buy you a drink? I said that I've never worn this dress And I really wanna know what you think Got a hold on me It's that fresh brand new love when you're holding me I just can't get enough Eyes on me tonight Cause you feel right And if your love was all that I had In this life Then that would be enough Until the end of time Cause you got that uh-uh Got all that I need, boy Stay looking fresh from your head to your feet, boy Got that smile when you talking That lean in you walk Come on, come on, come on He said what you know about love I got what you need Walk up in the store and get what you want You get what you please We about to get it on Take off them drawers Alright y'all, so I'm still eating I really didn't plan to talk to y'all Till I was done getting ready for today But My items came And it's not even it's not even 12. Oh, I love it. Whew. All right. That was the update. Scary sight. I know. But um, so last night I finished my hair, obviously. Well, technically this morning, like 2.30. I finished my hair, but I was sleepy, so I went to sleep. So I'm doing the mask as I pack. Because I seem to just not like to be ready ahead of freaking time but um i'm still planning on leaving here at 10. so i should be good mama said that her her inside person said that it'd be best to go through international as far as security is concerned and i'm a little nervous because i've never been through international um but hey we're gonna listen to the advice we're given and pack i had thought that i grabbed some sweatpants earlier in the week but um on my way to the interstate storage is on the way so i'm gonna swing by there and see if i can locate my sweatpants because it's gonna be cold it's cold here it's gonna be cold there and i need more layers and i don't want to wear jeans every day I'm at my aunt's house. My cousin is over there watching TV and my phone is ringing. One second. I was actually just asking her um, if she had a bedtime or a certain time she was supposed to shower by. 
ain't mean to be going that long, my B. But, and I sliced them up some lemon. We will get it right, okay? We will get it right. But they have this um, mango black tea. And I was like, ooh, it was good. But this time I'm using a Trader Joe's green tea and spiced chai black tea. Okay. Oh, so I'm dedicating time to these essays that I need to write for admission and prayerfully one second prayerfully I will be finished with them before next week is over and at the very latest next Tuesday Ooh, I thought I slammed that for a second. Um, Makazo taught me, Miss Queen over there, she uses like plates or something to cover the bowl so that it, well that might be messy, that's not even. Okay, something like this. To cover the cup so that it can steep without evaporating and it's still gonna evaporate the lid catches it so it'll go back in I'm like hmm cool I like I like but yeah y'all it's the first night in Albuquerque So, mm, getting used to it. Anyway, um, Queen and Auntie ran inside her school real quick for a quick little convo. And I'm chilling like a villain. I'm probably about to watch some Hulu on my phone. But last night, my charger stopped working for my laptop. So, I created an Apple appointment. Thank God there's a store here. Um, and we're gonna swing by there later after my grandparents come into town and I'm gonna get me a new charger for the free because I bought it like this year in January anyway so y'all know I'm on a scarf vibe and really I'd probably like it more if I had my earrings on me but I left them I left them inside a different bag and I don't have any earrings on me let me make sure that's correct yeah I got an anklet so um that's the only thing that's bothering me about this look right now but this is one of my scarves that came in with my hair supplies and I like the vibes, I do. I wish that my bun, I wish that, I was gonna say I wish that my hair could have been in a bun, but it didn't look good. But the fact that I decided to fully cover my hair means I can change it to a bun and it won't matter if it looks good, but it'll definitely give me the volume that I'm looking for. Hmm. I'm gonna make those changes, but like the edges. I'm proud of myself. 
I did my hair and I did a great job. <sighs> okay. And the lock sparkles look freaking great. Like, they're subtle and I love it. Okay. Okay. Um. I put the slightest because my edges already are pretty laid from the retwist. So I just put the slightest amount of edge control and I still feel like it's too much. Oh, anyway, girl. Oh, and I got these from the grocery store. They are very thick compared to normal scrunchies like I don't have anything relative to the OG scrunchie size to show you but these are thick I'd say about like a fifth of an inch and they're big and stretchy <laughs> So you can watch Blueless. I'm laughing at these kids when they act who do this. But everybody know who girl that you with. Might have pulled it a little too tight. I didn't want this much of my hair showing. I should have left it how it was. Ugh. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but there is a child throwing a tantrum. Where you at? Let me not. Let me not. That's a violation of that family's privacy. But little sis is going crazy, okay? Screaming them lungs out. And she's wearing a very pretty dress, too. Mama, you're going to have to pop her. She's not moving. <laughs> Did the mom go to the car? <laughs> Yo, I really want to record this for my own entertainment to rewatch. Oh, she better get real up when they get home, okay? Anyway, though, <laughs> I got the scarf to how I like it. And I do, like, I, I flipped which side would be out and visible, so I like this color far better. Far better. Got the right amount of edges showing. A little too much, but we're not gonna do it on it. And yeah, so excuse me. Excuse me. I'ma keep chilling and people watching. And um
I know what yours was. A long walk. Let's take oh. Then it was called Our Song. Oh, it, never mind. Was it the one that said, Make me some I fell in love with um, He Loves Me, but I don't think that was our song back in the day. He loves me. As special. This is the same album. As special. Every time you need me on my feet, happily excited by your cologne. And on that note, what? up okay so i've been a bad vlogger or whatever okay so yeah it's sunday you know normally sunday isn't normally i do sunday for me but since i didn't record much yesterday i'm gonna just go ahead and record today but i'm on a walk with my auntie and we're getting some sights in. It's really gorgeous. Like, I really do like the mountains. But, um, yesterday we had a day in her shop. Um, y'all saw a little bit of that. Us putting together some kits. And, um, we had a couple interviews and stuff like that. So yesterday was cool. But I get carried away easily with my family. When we got home, um, we ate Nana May's spaghetti and then um, we watched Devil in a Blue Dress, which was interesting. And then I watched Blacklist until I fell asleep. But yeah, we'll just see the sights on this walk. It is 2.09 on a Monday morning. It is 2.09 a.m. <laughs> so Papa beat me. He got a head start on his tea. I'm working my way over. And 
thank you for watching i'll see you next week